Time for some cooking. I'm gonna make another apple pie uh, in case you missed the previous instructions. And also Maggie likes apples. Okay, so this is my great grandma's recipe for apple pie. Um, I have like six apples that I sliced up. This is my apple slicer. It cuts like way thinner slices than normal ones, but if you have a regular apple slicer, you can just cut them in half or you can cut them into cubes, but get them all in a bowl like this. And we're gonna add half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and a little bit of cinnamon, probably like a teaspoon. All right, so then you're gonna mix all that together till the apples are coated well. And then you heap all those into your pie crust. I just buy like the frozen pie crust in a pan from the store because it's easier. Uh, and then we're going to make the topping. You're going to use half a cup of butter, half a cup of flour, and half a cup of sugar. So you should use your butter cold and then you'll end up with it kind of crumbly like this. It works even better in a food processor, but I was too lazy to get that out. And then you're gonna take handfuls of this, kind of put it over the pie, and pat it down until you get a top layer. All right, so it's a little messy. Vink doesn't care. Want some pie? I'm gonna lick the pie off my hands. Thanks. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in a paper bag, which I have down there. All right, and then you put the whole thing in the oven. The bag will not start on fire. It'll get a little brown, but I promise it won't burn. And you're gonna do that at Messy 425 for an hour and a half. Okay, when you take the pie out, you wanna make sure you don't tip it because there's like a ton of juices in it and they'll spill out and it'll be a mess. So I use like a spatula or like a hamburger flipper underneath and hold it very carefully. Okay, so as promised, the bag is not burnt. And I'm gonna rip it open. There you go. It's still a little tall, but as it cools, it'll flatten out a bit. And then I'm going to use the same sturdy turner thing to transfer it to a plate. Um, but again, you don't want to tip it here, so you might just want to let it cool like it is for a while if you're not confident with your pie moving skills.